Jim Trout and welcome to Somerset. Thanks very much. Have you been impressed with what you've seen so far? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I've been uh, with the club now, what, three three weeks? Well, the equivalent of three games with the, with the second team, working with Greg, uh, Kenneth and the lads. And um, yeah, I've been down the road at Taunton Vale, a couple of those games. Um, and we'll be doing some prep work with the, with the first team tomorrow, getting ready for Middlesex. But um, yeah, I've enjoyed my start so far. Obviously, Somerset in the last few years has had a reputation of, of younger players coming through the second eleven and making a mark on the first team. Are you impressed by some of the performances you've seen with the second eleven so far? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a, it's a young side actually. It's you know, I think the average age of the last game was, was 22, 23. So um, there's some impressive young players playing. They're scoring some runs as well. So putting some pressure on the first team, which is what you want. And uh, I think the fact that you play uh, four-day cricket in all the games that they're going to have in second team is, is a, a great platform for them to learn first-class game. And interesting this year, obviously, with, with no second eleven cricket this year, blocks of fixtures matching the first eleven, and also playing over four days rather than three. Do you think that's going to be a benefit? Well, definitely. I mean, the, the, the four-day cricket, you can tell from the games we played here, um, it highlights um, you know, the really important aspects of playing good championship cricket, good four-day cricket, of, of not really missing half a session here or there with, with, with a poor performance, because obviously there's no hiding place. Um, and the, the guys have experienced that very, very quickly in the three games that we've had. Um, a lot of them hadn't played full day cricket before, um, so it's an opportunity to score big runs, it's an opportunity to show you've got three, four spells and you can come and back it up the next day as a, as a bowler. Um, and in, you know, most of those games go to the fourth day, which is great to see. So there's some good signs there, um, and it's good to see you know, the first team performing well as well, but having that competition for places is important as well. What drew you to, to the vacancy at Somerset? Obviously you've got a, a, a huge, huge experience in, in playing and coaching. What, what drew you to Somerset? Um, well, obviously, seeing you know Trez, when Trez moved on, um, me and me and Andy Hurry have a relationship from before when I worked with the England under 19s. Um, and we were on the phone there, um, chatting about the, the opportunity really. So I had a few chats with him uh, over the phone, and you know it was a, it was a really good fit for me in terms of getting back in the game, but also in an area that having been a head coach before allowed me to work more one to one. Um, Having worked with quite a lot of young players at Warwickshire in my previous role of, of trying to bring through a, a young group of players there, working with some young players in, in the second team, I think seemed like a really good fit for me and, and something that I've enjoyed so far. Um, obviously it's early days and it's getting to know the guys and knowing about their games and how they prepare and how they perform, but um, as a club as well, um, having been involved with one club for, for a long time, it was, it was one club that I looked, looked over you know, from the other side of the... Uh, being an opposition, um, it's a well-run club, you know, and uh, very competitive. It seems to have a really good culture about it as well. Um, a good club feel, um, and the time that I've spent here so far, you know, I've been very impressed uh, with what I've seen. You mentioned culture there. How important is that off the field with regards to performances eventually on the field? Do you think? Well, I mean, culture often gets highlighted when things are going well, when uh, trophies are won and, 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 and games are won. Um, but the, the, the true test is when things don't go too well. If you, you, know, you have a loss or you have you have a, a run of bad form as a collective, as a batting unit, or, or you're not getting the, the wickets you want as a bowling unit, um, how you stick together through those tough times actually is the, is the true reflection of that culture. And what I've seen so far in terms of first team, second team is all working together when they get the opportunity. The first team is coming down to the, the ground at Taunton Vale to support when they're not playing themselves. Um, the coaches as well, uh, moving up and down, um, seems to be a very tight knit group. Um, glad that they've you know welcomed me into that group, but you know it's early days here so far for, for myself, and you know from what I've seen, it's been very positive, and uh, I look forward to the rest of that season. Really. Having had the, the top job at a, a successful um, first class county, do you think that stands you in good stead to, to perform what you're required here to do to do better? Is that stood you in, in better stead to be able to work one to one with the players that you'll be working with? Yeah, I mean, having been a head coach, you're overseeing a lot more. Um, so the ability to be able to get down into the nets and work one to one and be able to do those extra hours, you do through the winter, obviously. But def definitely during the summer, you're, you're handling a lot more things. And having been in that role, I know what head coaches require. So moving into the role that I am now, uh, I know exactly what my role is to help them. Um, and yeah, you get to be, you get to have those conversations that maybe you don't get to have when you're a head coach with young players. Who are looking for you know to get a place in the team, um, so it's a, it's a very much a different focus, which is you know, something that I've enjoyed doing so far. Um, and working with these young players who are you know they're they're really uh, eager to learn very quickly uh, and you know try and find out, figure out what it is that's going to get them into that first team. So 
know, with those with that competition for places, you know, it puts me in a good place having been a head coach position, knowing what it is to get into first class cricket for these guys to learn. You mentioned obviously that you've been with with a county for a, for a long time for a playing career and a, and a coaching career. Is it almost a, a fresh start? Is it something that maybe subconsciously recharges your batteries when you try a different challenge at a at an alternate venue? Yeah, I mean, you haven't been you know, a club for you know, 30 years and from 11 years of age. Um, moving on and you create um, obviously a reputation at that club. You need to then be able to go out of that environment and, and not start again, but also show what what qualities that you have got. You know, having you know, worked with Sarge before, um, I think he understood the way I sort of go about my coaching and way about go about my cricket. So there was always that that starting point but yeah it's very much an opportunity for me to show the strengths that I've got that go beyond just working at, at one club uh, and doing the work that I've done over over previous years. You mentioned obviously that you got involved in the game at a, at a young age was it always going to be cricket rather than following the, the sort of potentially the, the typical family path of, of acting and you know the Royal Shakespeare Company and the BBC and things like that? Yeah no chance with acting for me um, <laughs> a frustrated footballer would probably be the, the term that I'd use from the early age love football but cricket took over at the sort of that 15, 16 years of age, where I was getting kicked around the, the, the football pitch too much, and I didn't, I wasn't quite strong enough, I think, to to keep going with that. But yeah, you know, cricket's been a part of, of my life, you know, since since that age, and you know, it's just good to be able to, have, you know, you've had your time out in the middle, um, to hopefully be able to influence the, the next generation is, is, you know, is equally as uh, motivating. And what do you hope to achieve whilst you're here with Somerset? Um, well, I hope I bring something, maybe a fresh perspective um, that, that hasn't been here before. Um, like I said, having worked in, you know, first team cricket is is trying to get these guys to recognise the important elements that will help them, um, you know, recognise what it needs to be to be a first class cricketer, you know, whether that be in white ball or, or red ball, um, and you know, infusing that with those players is really important for them to then go be able to run their own game and then recognise what it is for that step up. Whatever I can do with the first team in terms of guys that may be out of a bit of nick or, or if they need something brought into that first team environment as and when that's fine but at the moment first and foremost is working with this young group of batters uh, to hopefully put in a position to, to give Jace uh, and Abe's a bit of a headache in terms of selection. I mean, that's, that's key isn't it? Isn't it? But the, the first team isn't the closed shot. We've, we've seen it in the last few years that, that if the younger guys' age isn't a barrier to, to getting picked, we've seen young guys performing for the twos and, and making it into the first team. It's, it's vital that these young guys understand that if they're good enough, they're old enough, isn't it? Yeah, you, you've, got to, you've got to make it really hard not to be selected, doing the right things, work ethic, the purpose you have in training and then performance. Um, and being able to perform under pressure and again going back to four day cricket gives you far more opportunities to see that whether they've got the ruthlessness to go big when they get in um, or get through difficult periods that four day cricket gives you that three day cricket maybe doesn't um, but yeah that, that transition is, is crucial and you know teams go through cycles it happens you know there's a very successful first team at the moment here that they're always featuring in you know, sort of the latter part of the, the season and they have done for the last few years um, but again, having that competition coming through is important because there's always going to be a time with transition. Um, so if you can get enough players in, in the right position to challenge, but then also be able to make that step up um, with the senior players they've got here to helping them, I think that's really important. Is there a danger that, that some of the younger guys can potentially try too hard and not play their natural game, knowing that you know there is a potential first team place there? How do you how do you balance that out? Well, again, that's you know it's the it's the ultimate question of, of that expectation, you know, whether that be you've, you've had a decent season in first team cricket of, of doing that again, or you're desperate to get into that team, or you're desperate to keep a contract. All these things, these pressures that come with being with being a cricketer, they're you know they're part and parcel of and like, a part and parcel of the, 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 the challenges that you have. I think it's all about the processes, you know, how you prepare and how you what your processes are during the game. Um, that really those are completely uncontrollable. Um, cricket is full of unfair instances and you know, a fair bit of luck can come into it and a fair few things that are in your control come into whether you're successful particularly with batting but how you control those um, how you how you deal with those is really important and I think ups, you know what's upstairs is just as important as the talent that a lot of these lads have um, to be able to deal with you know, scoring ones one week uh, missing out and next staying level um, throughout that, those are the challenges that they that they have, and hopefully they 
they learn very quickly because I think if you can learn quickly, uh, adapt your game, that's where you, you can pro have a prolonged career in, in, in domestic cricket and even you know, putting the performances that, that get Trez back in, in, in this ground uh, in a different tracksuit, working with you and getting you ready to play for England.